Welcome back to my new video. Uh, and this video, I will go to talk about how to create a CSI certificate uh, to put on the uh, 40 EMS client uh, that allow the browser to trust your application. Okay. Uh, before I'm going to talk about this stuff, uh, I will uh, review the, a little bit. I will tell you the, a little bit on how does the uh, create the CSI certificate work. So. I will show you the some picture that allow you to understand what I'm doing here. So, uh, and this one, and this one is the the certificate that is registered with the public uh, registers such as GoDaddy, such as uh, a DT cert. Uh, the first one is you have the generate the private key and check the private key to generate the create the CSO the in the CSO information the have the information your company your organization your company your city your state your country something like it and after that you will uh, send your CSOs to the uh, CA certificate authority to the uh Renon CA yes but at, like I mentioned at before like did you search or go did it okay after you send the c uh, cso's to uh, the, the renowned ca and after that you will get the one ssl certificate you will take the this certificate to your uh, application right to your application uh you don't need to install anything just to pull, take the, uh, the certificate allowed by the uh, renowned ca to install on your application you will the browser that will trust your web browser your web server right why this trust because on your window and billing have installed already with the uh, random certificates such as godaddy uh godaddy and dg cert and so on okay i will show you you can type the cert uh, mg or that's uh or Okay, you can go to the trust through CA and certificate. You will see this is by um, this is a um, yeah, global sign, something like that. Go daddy and so on. Okay, but in this lab, I will going to show you how to create the CSI certificate. So, before you are going to create the CSI certificate, you need to understand uh, all of this first. Okay, be easy to understand. Uh, uh, when you have the issue, you know what is the actual problem across. So, before we going to create a certificate, you need to create the own uh, own CA, right? You need to create the own CA first. Your own CA have the CA uh, private key, okay? Your CA private key, and after that, you need to create your private key for your server, okay? Please don't be a misunderstanding. Private key, server private key, and uh, CA private key is different. Okay. Uh, and after that, you create the private key for server and using the private keys to generate the CSO and send the CSO to the uh, your own CA and will uh, generate the one certificate. You need to uh, take this one certificate to your web application or application and Another thing, uh, you need to install the CA uh, root CA root CA certificate on your local machine. Allow you to trust on the web browser. If do if do not, it will not allow you. Uh, you will this will show the warning. Uh, the connect this connection is not secure. Okay. So okay, right now I hope you understand what what I'm talking about here. So uh, now we are going to uh, open the sign certificate first. Okay, uh, I will do how to create the test sign certificate uh, separated two part. Uh, the first part I will use the Windows Server as uh, the CA, and uh, another part I will use the Open SL to create the own CA and the own certificate. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to create a set certificate. certificate using the Windows Server X of the CA, root CA, right? Okay, uh, this server. 
I will go open this. Okay. Please take a moment. Okay. So here is my Windows Server. It will act as the root CA. Um, before you are yeah, before you are going to use uh, the root CA uh, to act as the uh, CA, you need to install um certificate authority on the uh, Windows Server first to, to add add role and features and click Nick click Nick. Uh, server and you will and so here uh, access ready certificate service you need to install this service first before you can uh, allow your windows server to act as the root ca okay but uh at here i'm not going to talk about this stuff i will just skip it but you can um watch the, another video on the youtube uh on the channel that uh, talk about how to uh, create your access ready certificate service or you can search how, how to install the certificate in Roseman web service okay so after that uh, I will go to the browser after you install the uh, root CA you will can the web service will automatically create for you you can set by type your uh, IP address of your window in IP config. IP config. Okay, this is my IP address. And you're going to backslash and write third S or V. Okay, remember that. third S or V and enter. Okay, it is to request your credential or of the Windows Server administrators from um, my password. Okay. Enter. It will bring you to add this step. Um okay, yeah, everything is locked fine. So okay, we can uh, log in to uh, Microsoft Edge Ready Certificate Authority. Okay, uh, now we are so go to the um e um as ms.lab.local but maybe i cannot access it by the uh, fgdn right because uh it's not trust the connection is not secure so i can access it by the ip address first okay so i'm sorry again uh, if you uh, don't understand how to install uh, the 40 ms client you can uh, go to watch my video that I thought, thought uh, how to install the 40 ms client on my YouTube channel. So now uh, just log in. Okay, the first thing after you log in the 40 client uh, without your SSL certificate is secure, it will pop up like that. Okay, and click OK. But don't worry, we will do, we will convert the EMS to trust for you. Um, let's go to the setting. System setting and EMS setting. Uh, okay. Uh, by default, it will do the, at the section uh, web certificate is with like the default certificate that uh, create a uh, built in uh, during your install your port EMS, right? So I will go to EMS server certificate. Is this this certificate is what I am in port to the EMS, but now I'm the lead. I will uh, walk you through step by step how to insert, how to allow your web browser to trust your connection. Right, I delete it. Okay, everything is locked, right? Locked like by default. Okay. Press installation. Uh, okay. In this, this not your. I will go to use a DC third uh, utility. Okay, we we'll go to this tool that uh provide by the DG cert. You can go to install uh install this application uh, for just to go to uh DG DG yes DG cert utility download okay here for the window. 
you can download this one because uh, it is easy to uh, create a request says request says sign certificate i click accept i will show you here it's called signing okay. so right now we use ssl first you need to click on the create cso okay create the cso here you need to input the common name uh we can uh, specific student your domain like uh, what i'm doing here i just uh, ems dot what am what my domain lab dot local okay domain lab dot local okay right my domain is lab dot local but ems is the sub domain ems is a sub domain so but i want to create the one certificate that can uh, using the certificate to all of server i, I mean that uh, after i uh config uh this stuff i can check only one certificate to uh import the all of, of my server right but you can specify one by one one by one what i am doing here okay so now i just support here if you uh you can you can read here you can read what you should to uh, input on this book okay. the copy is the subject alternative is the just another part is very important here. An organization is just A, B, and C, something like this, for example. But you can uh, config by your uh, individual or your organization information instead of like that. Uh, I just put A, B, C also. But and uh, as the Cambodia, I just uh, Cambodia and key side. You can select the uh, twenty forty eight and uh, forty ninety six. But I just click the symbol twenty and forty eight. Okay, in generate, you will have the one. Okay, create the CSO. You can copy uh, this uh, content, or you want to sell this file to another location. Okay, but I no need to sell. I go to the browser and copy uh, this content, and go to the browser. Uh, go to the root CA and click here. Request certificate, right? Request certificate, and click the request certificate, and click on add one certificate request. Here is the box. You need to input your what you are copy at the moment. Put in here and select the certificate template. You select the web server. Okay. Here the additional attribute. If you want to add another attribute in here, but uh, so right now I know it. I just to click submit directly. So here you can download uh, by the e D E O or best sixty four. Okay. Which one? Which one? you okay download okay set new a okay set new a mm. okay after you download complete you can go to the dg set and close and import okay import and browse to your uh certificate you so a and click nick is enter the uh, friend list name as uh, EMS okay and finish okay successful import you will see the one certificate here and after that you need to import this certificate just import certificate with the private key uh, import as a PS8 file include all the certificate here or you want to uh, export only the private key or don't export the private key but here i need to just export the private key okay and click the pf8 file and click nick with the password i just enter the password for and nick this location going to store your uh, certificate and click finish okay successful exported and after that you need to go back to the ems uh, EMS web server and click here that and select the uh, upload PKCS CS web and browse download this certificate at the moment you import and click open certificate password okay and click upload see you will get the so one certificate 
Uh, and after that, go to the EMS setting and at the here, a uh, web server certificate, and click here, you will see the EMS level local and click and confirm and click sell and click yes. Okay. No, this thing happened. Yes, that's right. And not yet uh, happened because they need to uh, close this web browser because it's stored the card so it will open reopen and add the ems .lab local. see what happened it's just enough boom right you will see this certificate connection is secure Okay. The command name EMS dot lab dot local ABC ABC and provide issues by the server root CA. Okay, you can take a look at here. Okay, CMA and uh, subject alternative name EMS. Okay, let's log fine. The connection is now secure. And click accept and log in your username and password. Control. EMS. Okay, so now the connection is trusted by the web browser. Okay, so uh, yes, that's all for what I'm showing to you, but I better go to show you how to configure with the open SSL to create the own uh, CA and create the own certificate to import uh, to the 40 MS again, but it's this another method, right? Okay, goodbye. See you guys in the next time.